So now I'm going to start taking this cover off. Oops. I think it was broken already. This one, I think you just yank it up. Yeah, I think you have to yank it hard. Let me see. <laughs> so, yeah, that what is hold on to. These two. And it's from here. Those. And uh, these three I'm going to do last. So uh, I'm going to go do this one first because I, I always like to do the hardest one first. I'm going to uh, get start taking out the intake first. And it's held by two tain, one in here and one inside. So you have to disconnect the master sensor. And uh, also, we also have to uh, take these out. Don't forget to take these three off. So before you take anything out, make sure you mark it. Like uh, put A on here, A here, B and B and C and C or something like that. Let me do mine. So I'm gonna mark this like uh, I guess a one. I'm gonna put a one in here. So you... and for here I'm gonna put like a two. So I'm gonna put two here. And for this I'm gonna put a three. And I'm gonna put a three here. So when you come back, you can remember which one is which. Since I'm taking the the air box out, the mass air sensor here, I'm just going to take it out and clean it while I'm at it. And I'm going to use this to clean it, the mass air sensor. Yeah, don't drop the screw. And uh, every, most mass most mass air sensor have a uh, gasket. When you clean it, I always try to take it off because if you do spray it onto the gasket, it will shrink or expand. Then it's hard to put on. And sometimes we don't we go on. So I'm just going to take it out. So what I'm doing, if you look at it, the tip of that is all black. The inside is going to be the same thing, but you can't see it.
So after you clean finish, then put it back right away because you have to wait for fully dry, then put it back. So I'm going to put this back. I mean, if you put back right now, it should be okay because you're not going to start up the car yet. So it should be okay. Yeah, so you really you're supposed to let it dry, but I'm gonna put it on and let it dry in there. It's the same thing. This, this is too much. Um, So after you take this out, you want to unscrew this one. After that, you know, you can just pull this one up and take this one out. And then connect and push this one out. Take this whole piece off. So uh, this rail here, I'm just going to move it out of the way so I can take out the manifold. And there's two tanks that hold it. So you can just flip like this and just leave it like that. And uh, now we're gonna take out. Um, I think this. We're gonna take out this, this screw, this screw, this screw, this screw, this screw, and this one more right there. And after that, this one more. There's one more bolt back here that's hard to get to. It's like a 14. Once you get it off, don't put it back later on when you put it back in manifold. It's too much work. So uh, I'm gonna start taking these out first.
or seven. So 14. And these are hold by size size eight. I gonna break it loose first. Just in case it's trip or something. Yeah, make sure it's all in before you try to take it out. Be careful, don't hit the glass or crack. So just move this out of the way. And if you see any dirt on here, Make sure you push it out of the way uh, we fall into the manifold. 